Hello everyone, I'm Seungwon Lee at the University of Pennsylvania. This is a brief presentation of our research on lifelong learning in deep networks with selective layer transfer. Lifelong learning focuses on the fundamental issues of learning tasks consecutively. Over time, a lifelong learner accumulates and reuses knowledge to learn subsequent tasks better. Previous work in lifelong learning usually focused on the design of transfer mechanism between tasks and the understanding of task relationships to promote beneficial transfer. A deep neural net learns a hierarchy of features, so it is important to determine which granularity of knowledge in this hierarchy is useful for other tasks. However, earlier work on deep lifelong learning has paid relatively little attention to this notion of selective transfer. Previous work has explored using a tree structure to determine layers to transfer or learning layer-wise transfer modules. These methods either rely on tasks being very similar or introduce computational inefficiency. The choice of layers to transfer is called a transfer configuration. To determine the effect of transfer configuration on lifelong learning, we trained and evaluated different transfer configurations on two lifelong learning architectures on two datasets. We considered sharing only the topmost layers, sharing the bottommost layer, and an alternating configuration of transfer-based and non-transfer layers. We see that different transfer configurations have very different level of performance. Moreover, the best transfer configuration varies based on the transfer mechanism and similarity between tasks. We can see that identifying the optimal transfer configuration is critical in lifelong learning, which will be done through an architecture search. However, the lifelong architecture search must contain with several issues. We simplify this problem by considering transfer only at the level of entire layers. Each layer can be either transfer-based or non-transfer-based. The figure shows our alternating configuration of a network with four convolution layers and one task-specific dense layer. This configuration allows sharing knowledge with other tasks in the second and fourth layer of the network. Even with using only layer-based transfer, the size of the search space grows exponentially as the network becomes deeper. A network with d convolutional layers has 2 to the power of d possible transfer configurations. Additionally, the transfer configuration and the optimization of the network parameters are highly dependent on each other complicating the lifelong architecture search process. We came up with the idea of using expectation and maximization to combine learning of individual task models and the architecture search. Learning each new task starts by initializing the parameters of both the transfer-based and task-specific layers. Instead of maintaining a distinct set of parameters for each configuration, our method LASEM shares one set of parameters for all configurations to check. The training procedure iterates the E step and M step to estimate the fitness of configuration for the task and optimize the network parameters. We apply LASEM to three deep learning architectures and evaluated them on three datasets. We also compare LASEM to a brute force evaluation of different static transfer configurations. The results show that LASEM chose transfer configurations that perform toward the top of its range of static transfer configurations, particularly when the static transfer configurations have a wide range of performance. The transfer configurations selected by LASEM showed little forgetting compared to other configurations. This is a particularly interesting result because LASEM does not consider the performance on previous tasks to avoid catastrophic forgetting. Transferring only appropriate layers seem to minimize negative reverse transfer between tasks. Finally, we compare LASEM with existing selective transfer methods. Each of these baselines has some weakness in comparison to LASEM, such as low per task performance, computational inefficiency, or dependency on a particular architecture. LASEM, on the other hand, shows good per task performance regardless of the transfer mechanism with only a slight increase in the computational burden. Thank you for listening to our work on the importance of selective layer transfer in lifelong learning and our proposal of new EM-based algorithm for lifelong architecture search. Please feel free to contact us with any questions.